welcome to Life at the Laundry Garden from my Dahlia cutting patch. It has been a wonderful week. I'm now on Sunday evening and just sitting in the wall garden enjoying the bird song. I've just come off alive with Tom Coleman as well because we are planning a weekend retreat teaching people about how to use social media which is very exciting but the other thing I was wanting to tell you is that our garden has just been featured in the English Garden magazine and I couldn't be happy with it it's a beautiful article and I hope you'll be able to pick it up from anywhere around the world somehow digitally or uh, in magazine format and here is the English Garden. It's a real honour to be featured in such a beautiful magazine. And this is our article. All photographs taken by the wonderful Clive Nichols and the words by Constance Craig Smith. Both have done us really proud. Really, really pleased with the whole thing. So thank you. The other exciting thing I wanted to let you all know is that with us being a privately owned garden, we do like to share it with a lot of people, obviously other than on social media, but you can actually come and see our garden for real in person because we are opening it next April on the weekend of the 27th and the 28th, 2024, underneath the umbrella of the National Garden Scheme, or the Yellow Book, as a lot of people call it. Uh, it's a very big charity that covers many, many charities uh, in the UK. So we are very much looking forward to that and already started thinking ahead and planning for what we're going to do uh, on that on that day or, what, or how we're going to prepare the garden for it, should I say. So those are the two things that I've been really looking forward to telling you. Uh, it's been a very busy week here in the garden and with other things. Yesterday we showed some lovely Argentinians around the garden. Just a lovely, lovely bunch. And that was our last group opening. So we do also open our garden for group tours as well, up until the end of September. So that's another thing to bear in mind. So if you did want to look at the garden and you couldn't come to that open garden event in April, you could either come and stay here in our accommodation or you can book a group uh, preferably 20 people or more, the more the merrier, I say. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going to rewind to slightly earlier this week now because I've done some recording of when we did actually do some gardening here along the cutting border. I uh, worked with Hannah and we had Rowan here as well. So we're going to give you a little insight on what went on there. It's been a great week in the garden. On the day we did garden this week, luckily we had a very overcast day because on either side of that we've had blistering sunshine and very, very hot and humid, which has been lovely for the garden, of course, but when you're actually out in it, especially in the wall garden on a very, very hot day, it gets quite unbearable. And actually on the day we did garden in here, it was very, very close and very clammy and hot. But anyway, we got masses done. Just before I go, I know you probably want to see the dahlias. They're looking fantastic. All this sun has really made them pop. Right, well, I'm going to head inside now. It's Tom's birthday today, so need to spend a bit of time with him and start preparing for the week ahead. Enjoy our gardening time. See you soon.